going to do to celebrate the New Year? Well, Johnny DiLoretto is live in Clintonville with one very unique New Year's Eve celebration. Johnny. Andy, Amy, I'll tell you, what does a giant space octopus have to do with New Year's Eve? We don't know. The answer lies at Wild Goose Creative. We'll explain straight ahead on Fox 28. Good day, Columbus. Now that is a tease. <laughs> All right, stay tuned to find I'm out. Johnny DiLoretto live in Clintonville. We are at Wild Gro Goose. Goose, I almost said. Wild Goose Creative. It's an enclave of creative people, artists, musicians, and we're going to begin with breakfast back there with Andy and tell you what they're up to for New Year's Eve. That's straight ahead on Fox 28. Good day, Columbus. Good thing I didn't say Columbus. All right, well, what are your plans for New Year's Eve? I think I'm going to be sleeping. <laughs> well, I probably will be, too. But Johnny is counting down this New Year with a special group of local artists and musicians. He's live at the Wild Goose Creative in Clintonville. Johnny. Andy, Amy, I'll explain in a minute. First, let me introduce you to Nick Decker. You met Nick before. We first met Nick eating breakfast at Skillet. Yeah. Nick is uh, our city's breakfast blogger, Breakfast with Nick. That's right. Also uh, a professor at OSU uh -huh. teaching uh, theater. Yeah, theater. And right. also a part of this group, Wild Goose Creative. Yeah. And we are in the kitchenette here. Oh, Andy just flipped a crepe. That was pretty cool. Tell us, first of all, Nick, what Wild Goose Creative is. Well, um, Wild Goose is a nonprofit. Uh, multidisciplinary arts company. Um, we are just here to kind of serve the community and serve artists to uh, just provide the space to um, let artists kind of do what they they like to do best. Uh, we have a gallery so they can show their work. Um, mm -hmm. Our venue here is great for concerts and theater performances. And, and everybody here is getting ready for um, yeah, hey, yeah, there they are. Yeah. yeah, there they are. Um, getting ready for the New Year's Eve celebration. Yep. And what's that going to be? We got about 30 seconds. Okay. Left. Um, well, it's uh, it's our New Year's festival. It kicks off New Year's Eve, 9 p.m. We have a big party. It's a CD release party with a guy named John Rubin. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of big concert party. And then the next few days through uh, kind of midday Sunday are um, workshops, performances, concerts, meals, all sorts so of stuff. So four days of New Year's celebrations. So yep. If you miss it tomorrow, mm -hmm. you can come here. All right, yeah. come on back. We'll explore Wild Goose Creative. Sounds like fun, Johnny. Thank you. All right, sure. Well, there's a truly creative way to ring in the new year right here in Central Ohio. Yeah, Johnny DiLoretto's live in Clintonville, where one group isn't just throwing a party, they're throwing a four-day festival. Johnny. It is a four-day festival, and it has something to do with space creatures. That's Nick, right. What, what's, what's, what's the space? Space theme. Well, yeah, the theme for our uh, New Year's Here's, Eve let's show party. Here's poster right there. Buddy. Yeah, there's our poster. The theme for the New Year's Eve is a uh, kind of a retro sci-fi theme. So we're incorporating a lot of uh, uh, art from that, and you know, uh, we've asked some area artists to create some retro sci-fi paintings and stuff like uh, that that are in the gallery. Okay, we'll Space take a look at the day. gallery a little bit yeah. later, um, which you always have something. Yep. Uh, yep. Local Rotates. artists featured. Uh -huh. and you guys just built this stage. Yep. And um, there's going to be plenty of performances going on. Mm -hmm. Carl's working on it right now. Yep. Tell me what kind of performances and uh, well, you what know, will happen here in the future. On this yeah, stage. this stage is uh, perfect. We have a lot of um, like kind of small scale concerts, a lot of acoustic shows, and this is great uh, just for the musicians to be up here. We also have um, some uh, theater companies that perform here, a lot of improv teams, uh -huh. and this is just perfect for that to give them a good space. Yeah, and you guys are really about. Uh, uh, facilitating an artist's yep. vision as somebody who might not have a venue to work. Yep, absolutely. In, right? Absolutely. So, like, yeah. if I wanted to put up a play, like, you know, yep. you can, what would happen? You can, would um, even just, you can just rent our space, or um, we do some collaborative projects. I helped kind of co produce a play here in our space this fall. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're always open to projects, any ideas that artists have. A lot of the best stuff that we've done has been from an artist approaching us saying, like, hey, what if we did this type of show? Or I've been working on this project, you know, could we produce it in your space? How would that work? Cool. All right. Yeah. And your wife, Beth, is up there working on something. Yep. We cannot tell you Secret what, project. but it has something to do with the space octopus. That's right. That was that, you know, now see, you're tantalized, right? We are. <laughs> we A giant are. space octopus. We'll talk about that next. It sounds very interesting. We want to see more. Right. You are invited to ring in the new year with one of the most creative groups here in Central Ohio. Good day, Columbus. This is Johnny DeLoretto's live at Wild Goose Creative in Clintonville. What's going on, Johnny? 
Amy and Andy, it's a constantly growing and evolving group of artists here. This is Jesse Betcher, and uh, one of the things that, uh, we're going to show you in a second is that giant octopus thing. But uh, we want to talk real quick about the gallery, yeah. Jesse, and um, obviously you can see that sci-fi theme again That's right. here. Uh, so who's this artist? And, and um, this is Lindsay Rigsby's artwork. Mm -hmm. Her two pieces are called Lindsay in the 50s and Lindsay in the future. Um, in keeping with our sci-fi theme for the party as a whole. And then some other artwork That's always right. on display here. You guys uh, change it out how often? We change uh, out our artwork about every month or every two months. Okay. And we feature a wide range of artists from emerging artists who are Columbus residents to people who've been long time. How do you, how do you get uh, on the wall here? How do you do that? Um, get, get in touch with us. Um, we um, do different kinds of exhibitions mm -hmm. themed and more just showcase exhibitions of groups of different artists. Okay. So get in touch with us at our website. Now one of this big, uh, one of the bigger works here is this giant space octopus yes. which comes complete with a detached tentacle. Yes. What is this all about? Yeah, we partnered with a group of local artists to make this photo booth. Uh, one of our, our, our members crafted this uh, tentacle arm and a group of artists painted the wall. Uh -huh. At our New Year's Eve party, you could come and get your, your, and get your picture. Taken. Nick, here. I'm posing. Uh, <laughs> things got him. Yeah. Uh, 3D. Look. James Cameron spent $500 million and I'd do it for free. He does, right. Same yeah. visual effects, okay. too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh, All right. Back to you guys. All right, Tony, thanks. So, final preparations underway right now for a big New Year's Eve party unlike any other. This one doesn't last into just the wee hours of the morning. It goes on for four days. Good day. kind of party. <laughs> I was going to say that's your kind of party. Johnny DiLorno is live in Clintonville with the latest. Johnny, what's going on? Amy, Andy, this is interesting. Yeah, the four-day celebration. Um, this is Ryan Hoke. And Ryan, there's something called Night After Last. That's right. Yeah. Ryan, what is that? Night After Last is a night of live storytelling and music. And it's really celebrating this in-between time of the year with uh, some really great stories. So it's highlighting the art of storytelling. So you know maybe somebody's a really great storyteller. Uh -huh. They'll tell you a fantastic story at a party. But there's no venue for them. So we're going to put them up on stage, and they're going to tell stories from their lives sort of about change, because New Year's is a time of change. So. And specifically about New Year's. And yeah, sort of focusing in on, on New Year's as a time to look back and look forward. It's a really unique time of the year. Mm -hmm. Even on the calendar, it always feels like, we're coming up to New Year's, we're coming up to New Year's. It's so far away, and then it's there. Yeah. And these are going to be stories kind of built on people's lives that are going through change. Okay. So will this happen what day? This is going to be uh, Friday night, night after last. Night after last, it's right. It's going to be after the Allwood Sisters, so it's going to be uh, you know around 9, 9 o'clock or so. So, okay. so hopefully you will have a very interesting New Year's Eve. Then you come to Wild Goose. Exactly. You got some and stories. you tell the story, right? Exactly. I already know what my story is going to be. What this is you, fascinating. What Listen to me. New Year's Eve, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's partying, whatnot, having a great time, toasting. Uh, I go to bed at like nine mm -hmm. and miss out on all the excitement. Get up in the morning and I'm at work the next morning, New Year's Day. I like it. It's <laughs> life changing. It's real. Is that what riveting? It is. Yeah. It's riveting. You just right? riveted me. I'll come in Friday night and. Yeah. Uh, tell that story. It would be awesome. It would be sweet. Back to you guys. Good Sounds stuff. Sounds just as exciting as yeah. my New Year's, which is actually two year, two hours earlier than you, Johnny. I go to bed at like seven, so. Oh, do you? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, what, Friday night, me and you, here. <laughs> okay. Talking about what we dreamt of it's on New on. Year's Eve. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. A group of local artists, musicians, and actors are throwing a big New Year's party and festival, really. Yeah, Johnny is live at the Wild Goose Creative in Clintonville, and Johnny, you don't really have to be all all that creative minded to attend, do you? No, you don't have to be an artist to attend, Nick, no. right? It's open to anyone. Open yep. to anyone. And it really is a great group of people. This is a very cozy spot. And he's been diligently making us crepes all morning long. He hasn't stopped. Um, <laughs> Nick, explain uh, to the people one more time yep. like what Wild Goose Creative is. It's kind of like an enclave of Yeah, creative. yeah. Um, we're just a nonprofit arts company. We're an actual 501c3. Um, we're here to produce art, you know, every art across the medium, theater, film, 
visual art, music, all mm -hmm. of that stuff. All in one spot. Yeah, all in one spot. And the New Year's Eve celebration, a four-day celebration beginning yep. uh, tomorrow. Begins tomorrow night at 9 with the New Year's Eve party, and then it goes through kind of midday Sunday, um, just kind of full days of events and mm -hmm. workshops, workshops and performances, performances, concerts. How much? Um, it's Each event is 5 bucks, so you can just come to select events, or um, 50 bucks is the full festival fee, which includes everything, including some meals and stuff. Get you in all four days, 50 yep. bucks, but $5 just yep. to... Yep, if you just want to come to like one concert or one workshop, it's mm -hmm. just 5 bucks. Very cool. It's open to anyone, yeah. It's a great deal. Thank you very much, Nick. Yeah, it's yeah, been a pleasure, pleasure to, to hang you. out with you again. Yeah. Check out Nick's breakfast blog, too, Breakfast with Nick. We had mm -hmm. breakfast with Nick at uh, Skillet, which yep. was... Phenomenal, was, was it not? Fantastic breakfast. Yeah. It was really cool. Was Where's, awesome. Give us one more breakfast tip. What's the latest? Um, I just discovered a place called the Best Breakfast and Sandwiches up mm. in Westerville. Tiny little kind of hole in the wall diner, but super friendly, really good food. Okay. Just amazing cool. stuff. Maybe yeah. we'll go there. Yeah. All right. Thank you again. I appreciate yeah. it. Happy New Year. You too. Back to you guys. All right, Johnny. 850.